Hello friends, this video on simple equations part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 8. 3 minus 2 into 2 minus y is equal to 7. So in this case, which is the term that you will shift the first? That is nothing but this 3. So let us first move 3 to right hand side. So what will happen? It will become minus 2 into 2 minus y is equal to 7 minus 3. So this is nothing but minus 2 into 2 minus y is equal to 4, right? So now here one very interesting thing that we will observe is the next thing that we are going to shift is this minus 2. Now how is this minus 2 present on the left hand side? Now this is something you need to understand. Now when we say minus 2 into 2 minus y, what does this mean? This basically means that minus 2 is a number which is getting multiplied to 2 minus y. So therefore, when this minus 2 shifts to the other side, what is going to happen? It is going to become divided by minus 2. Now, many a times students get confused. They feel that, okay, this side we have minus 2. So when this term goes to the other side, it will become plus 2. No, that's because whatever, whenever transposing is happening, there is reversal of the operation. So if a number is getting added on left hand side, in that case, when it is transposed, the number gets subtracted on the right hand side. Similarly, if a number is getting multiplied on the right hand side, the multi number will get divided on the left hand side. So that is the tip that we follow. So in this case, this 2 is not getting subtracted from any number. Minus 2 basically is a negative number which is getting multiplied to another number. So basically, the operation is multiplication. So this is a number so minus 2 is a number as a whole and here minus 2 is getting multiplied therefore the moment it gets shifted to the other side the number will remain minus 2 but this time it will get divided so that's one important thing to understand so that you do not get confused so in this case we are going to shift minus 2 here so what will happen this side will be 2 minus y and this side it would be 4 divided by minus 2 now 4 divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 2. So now minus y is equal to minus 2. Now we will also shift this to the side. So this time the 2 is actually getting added to this number. So therefore when it comes to the side it becomes minus 2. So therefore minus y is equal to minus 4. So both sides you have minus minus which tells that y is equal to 4. Why, do we, why did we write like this? That's because if you multiply minus 1 on both sides, what will happen? This side will become y, this side will become 4. So we can say that y is equal to 4 is a solution of this equation. Question number 9. 34 minus 5 into p minus 1 is equal to 4. So in this case also, first of all, we will shift this constant term. So it becomes minus 5 p minus 1 is equal to 4 minus 34. So this can be written as minus 5 into p minus 1 is equal to minus 30. Now this in turn can be written as p minus 1 is equal to minus 30 divided by minus 5. That's because here it was minus 5 into this term. So when minus 5 gets shifted to this side, it becomes divided by. So 5, 6 is a 30 and minus minus gives plus. Therefore, you get five, p minus 1 is equal to 6. Therefore, p is equal to 6 plus 1 which is equal to 7. Therefore, p is equal to 7 is a solution for this equation. Question number 10. 0 is equal to 16 plus 4 into m minus 6. So here also the same thing we will have to bring all the variables on one side. So let us try to bring the variables on the left hand side and the constants on the right hand side. So how can we do that? Let's see how do we do that. So for now let us first shift the constant. So let's bring the constant to this side. So this becomes minus 16 is equal to 4 into m minus 6. Now if you write minus 16 is equal to 4 into m minus 6, if you shift this, if you want, you can write the entire left hand side as right hand side and the entire right hand side as left hand side. Now this you can only do when you are taking the entire left hand side and writing it on the right hand side and vice versa. So this can be written as 4 into m minus 6 is equal to minus 16 because they mean the same thing. 
right so this from here now we will shift the 4 so this becomes m minus 6 is equal to minus 16 divided by 4 so 4 4 is 16 so we get m minus 6 is equal to minus 4 or you can say m is equal to minus 4 plus 6 which is equal to 2 therefore m is equal to 2 is a solution for this equation Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.